Hey everybody, my name is Don and I wanted to discuss uh, lighting, particularly video lighting. Video lighting is very important and it's very crucial to your scene. Uh, the better lighting that you have, the better quality you're going to have in your video that's just plain simple as that. Um, what you need to do is you need to have the proper lighting so you could use the lowest ISO on your camera. If you don't have enough lighting and you start cranking up the ISO number to higher numbers than the base ISO, then you start suffering on digital quality as far as the video is concerned. The image is not going to be as good because it's going to struggle. And even the color is going to go off. You might have some reds or blues or whatever uh, that will uh, be coloring your shadows and it won't look good. But a lot of people, what they do is they crank up their ISO to compensate for that so they get the proper lighting, but then they get grain in their video and the video starts tearing apart. So what I'm going to discuss is proper lighting for your video. I do video uh, cinematography professionally. I shoot models and do music videos and all kinds of things. And also I create videos like this one that you're watching right now and I have a light set up where my computer desk is where I do my work and I have basically uh, four professional key lights and two lights that I actually got from Home Depot uh, that I set up with a reflective uh, light source. Now the two main key lights that I'm using that are in front of me are one is the Flashpoint Tricolor which holds four LED lights in it. Uh, what I'm talking about by LED lights is light bulbs, 100 watt light bulbs. They're LEDs and I'm going to show you those in a minute what they look like and how it's set up. The other one is made by Bowens. It's a, uh, it's a smaller dish and it holds three lights and you could put pretty much any uh, wattage uh, bulbs in there providing that you get the the proper temperature lights I like to use daylight so 56k is ideal that I that I like to use what I got here for a system um, I have the two LED panels up there uh, those are by uh, GVM uh, great video maker these are uh, special uh, this one right over here this is a very special lighting and and so is this and then I get stuff from Home Depot that uh, with the reflective dish and I get my camera over there so I'm going to show you exactly okay so this is a flashpoint tricolor this is very very good it has four switches it has four lights in it basically what I got in there is four 100 watt 56k daylight LED lights in there and it works I'm going to shut it off so I could take off the diffuser I have a sock diffuser and I, I'm going to take it off so I could show you exactly what this is you see the, you got these four bulbs and they don't get hot I'm touching them right here and I was I had them on uh, they have four LED light bulbs uh, they're actually uh, very very good they last a long time and you can get them th uh, to go as high as equivalent to 300 watts a piece and I got four of those in there so this one is made by Trilite Bowens and uh, this has just one switch it has three lights into it, it has the same type of uh, diffuser in there and I got the same type of bulbs in there only there's only three of them this one I like a lot more because it has some uh, it has separate switches for each bulb so you can just run two of whatever you want what's great about this uh, you can actually put different color light bulbs in there for different temperatures if you like which will actually, you know, you can warm it up a bit if you wanted to. The dish for the tricolor, um, Flashpoint tricolor, is about $60 to $69 uh, for the dish. And then you just buy your lights, get them at Home Depot. They're 
I got four 100 watts in there. I could put three if I wanted to, but I thought that would be a little bit intense. And also, uh, the uh, other dish, I have uh, the same thing, three 100 uh, watt light bulbs, except for, you know, the smaller one only holds three, the bigger one holds four. Uh, the tricolor um, flashpoint system I like because it has four individual switches to turn on each light bulb. The other one has only one switch to turn on all three. And I like to have them up, at, uh, raised above me, going down at an angle. You always want to go downwards at your subject, number one. It won't blind them and be facing straight at them. And also wouldn't be creating shadows. The other reason is that the light spreads out nice and even. Uh, and and works much better So now that's what I'm using right now for what I'm doing right here But I also use those to shoot models and do professional music videos as well uh, And you can go out and get as many of those dishes as you want and have more uh, Lighting set up so lighting is very very important for video It also is in still photography, but more so video lighting is a constant ambient type light that you're casting uh, where photography is is a burst of light using a strobe uh, flashing the amount of light that you need only for that fraction of a second to uh, light up your subject video light is a constant light and it's much harder to control than using a flash system and it's less power obviously but when you're doing uh, video light you really want to keep uh, the light saturated on your subject and you can do your adjustments from there. The lower the ISO that you shoot your video, the much better you're going to be you know, better off uh, doing this. So this is my advice and this is uh, my little uh, demonstration of what you can do to get good lighting cheaply. Hope this helps you and thank you for watching.